Okay. So, apparently Elizabeth Banks, first I had to look up who Elizabeth Banks was. I had no idea. She's some blonde chick who thinks she's way more important than she really is in life. Uh, she's starring in the new Charlie's Angels movie. But what I mean by the new Charlie's Angels movie is the god-awful retread of the god-awful 2000 version. I hated that fucking one, too. Uh, that decided to forego guns, even in this one. I mean, Drew Barrymore was against guns back in 2000, so that's why the women didn't have guns, because that was bad. They could use their hands to fight the big six-foot-five guys who were coming at them. Get the fuck out of my face with that, okay? I don't care if you're Ronda Rousey or fucking... Maybe Cyborg's got a chance or some shit like that, but ain't no way you're gonna fuck up, you know, a bunch of gangsters who are like six foot four and no martial arts with you. Hey ya, hey ya, you need a gun, bitch. You need a gun. That was my that movie was stupid anyway, the first Charlie's Angels. Now comes this other one with Kristen Stewart, who fuck the I mean, she's a lesbian now. What what the hell's happening? What I mean is she general fluid? What's going on? Wasn't she with the guy from Twilight? Wasn't she fucking him? Then didn't she fuck a director behind his back? Maybe she's just a hoe. Maybe she's like a bisexual hoe. And she just annoys the piss out of me. She can't act. She's always... Uh, Edward, I think you're a vampire. I think you're a vampire, Edward. Or now she's just got... Like, she realized that was her one-trick pony. She could just, you know, stare at the ceiling and, you know, barely be coherent. And that was, you know, marketable. Thus, she became a star. I don't know. But uh, she also made it now into being, you know, like a butch Leslie. Like, she's, you know, butch Leslie. Ellen's going to come for you, bitch. Ellen's going to be like, that's my gig. Stop it. But now she's like, who chic lesbian? Okay, whatever the fuck. So the Charlie's Angels movie came out this past weekend. Of course, it bombed. And I could have told you it bombed as soon as I saw the trailer. Because when I see impersonation, I do impersonations. This is me watching the Charlie's Angels trailer with Elizabeth Banks and uh, what the fuck her name is. Kristen Stewart and all that. What is, is this Charlie's Angels? Are you fucking kidding me? What the fuck? Oh, got her again? She in this fucking movie too? Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, that could happen. Get the fuck out of here. When's the next trailer coming on? Don't tell me to shut up. Mother, is that you? Mother? Mother? <laughs> that was just my own issue. And then I took my medicine and I was better. No, but it's like, it looked like ass. I could have told you it looks like ass. I mean, the, first of all, you know, you get three supermodels who are, you know, very attractive women who all, they have these unbelievable, you know, masks. They put on a wig like Kristen Stewart in the trailer and a blonde wig on, then she's kicking ass. You know, she's like roundhousing motherfuckers and all that. Let me tell you what would happen right now. If Kristen Stewart and any of them bitches, those anorexic motherfucking bitches m models that were in that fucking movie, this movie I'm talking about, the new Charlie's Angels, if they ran into some bad guys, they would pee, they would cry, they'd get the shit kicked out of them. But, come on, give me some believability just a little bit i'm not saying women can't be tough of course they can there are women that kick guys asses but not like you know roundhouse kicking and all this fucking bullshit now they have these little like there's a new insignia to say they're charlie's angels and isn't bosley a man a woman now and I'm like because we have to flip every gender role because we have to be equal or millennials will cry and curl into a ball and shit themselves that's just what will happen I think the blonde is Bosley, Elizabeth Banks, and she's like the 40-something leader of the Charlie's Angels now. Okay, so the horrible movie comes out, and it bombs, of course, because it's a piece of shit. It's a piece of stinking shit. If you want to make Charlie's Angels real good, make it believable, and make it topless, and make them oil wrestle. Maybe that's just me. Maybe you shouldn't listen. Okay, fine. You want to do... Everything doesn't have to be feminist. That's the fucking problem with these fucking movies now. Ghostbusters was a classic example of it. You... I don't even care if it's feminist. It just sucked. Nobody wants to see Leslie Jones in anything. Thank God she left Saturday Night Live. Fuck, you can watch Saturday Night Live again a little bit without her. That, that was the only bitch that I ever saw in Saturday Night Live. Fuck up. Go look at any of her skits. She couldn't stop from laughing. She couldn't read cue cards. She tripped over herself every five seconds talking. Whose dick was she sucking? Who, like, did she get massive, like, you know, like, fucking vacuum power, like, it was like shot vac power, like fucking head. She must have done, did she tickle the ass while she was doing it? Lauren Michaels must have gotten plenty of blowjobs from her. There's no reason that woman should have been on Saturday Night Live forever like she was. And then, but remember when the whole thing came out with the Ghostbusters, you know, it's because they're women. It's why nobody liked it. It's because they're women. No, because it sucked and looked fucking stupid. That's why. Nobody cares if it's women. I didn't give a shit if it was women. It was retarded. Nobody wanted to see that because it was fucking retarded. And yeah, you pick some of the most annoying women on the planet. You put uh, Leslie Jones, who can't act her way out of a fucking paper bag. Don't know why she's famous. Oh, she's a comedian or something. Like, you know, her face might make people laugh. I don't know. But yeah, it's cheap shop. But I don't give a fuck. I'm pissed off anyway. It's been a long day. Um, you know, you had Kate, 
McKinnon or whatever her name is, and she's okay, but she had to be quirky and weird. It was a shitty, shitty movie. And now comes another shitty, shitty Charlie uh, feminist movie. Why do make it feminist? How about instead of feminist, atheist, whatever the fuck you're making the movie, how about making it goodest? Making it watchableist? How about that? Focus on that shit first. Unless you're doing some weird art house thing and nobody cares anyway and nobody's going to see it. Except, you know, a bunch of, you know, hipsters who think they really read deep into shit when they don't. But, like, so Elizabeth Banks, I guess, kind of knew she banked on the fact, get it, see what I did there? She banked on the fact that it was going to suck and it was going to suck ass. She had to come up with a good excuse. She's like, basically, uh, not basically, but before the movie came out, I think this was on a Friday or something like that, she's like, well, you know, if this movie bombs, it's just reinforces that negative stereotype that men don't want to see women in powerful roles. Really? Yeah. Maybe you should tell that to Ronda Rousey. Maybe you should tell that to Linda Carter who started in Wonder Woman. Maybe you should tell that to Lindsay Wagner back in the 70s as the bionic woman. Like, how much coke did you do before you put that Twitter thing out there? How much, I mean, like, how much, like, meth did you, like, just ingest or put in your vagina before it drove you that crazy? You can't blame it on men not wanting to see women in a power position. Are you fucking kidding me? Do you know how many great women there have been in films, evil villains or just regular female heroes? Linda Hamilton, Terminator 2. Laurie Strode from Halloween. No men... If your theory held water, stupid asshole, fucking Elizabeth asshole, whatever the fuck, that's a new name, Elizabeth asshole. If your theory held water, every time there was a strong female lead, and there has been, if you looked at the horror genre once in a while, you'd see there's been strong female leads carrying fucking horror genre forever. There have been a bunch of slasher movies, and people like to pick them apart. They're against women. They're against women. Well, guess what? A lot of the times, the women had to help their fucking boyfriends out of the mess with the slasher, or Freddy Krueger, or whoever else was after them. Nobody ever seemed to pick up on that one. Nobody ever seemed to say, well, but yeah, but the girl must be a virgin, and she has to act pure, and that's the only way they survive those movies. Bullshit. Bullshit. Black Chris was the girl on an abortion, or was getting ready to have an abortion. Bunch of people. Uh, the, Nev Campbell had sex and scream. She survived several of the franchises. It's a bunch of fucking bullshit. They're beating you crap. Don't believe them. These are just angry bitches who are suddenly realizing that a movie sucks, like Elizabeth Banks realized her movie fucking sucked, so she had to blame men somehow who don't want to see women in a power position. That's absolute bullshit. And actually, I would say it's anti-male. How, if we can be anti-female, that's the most anti-male statement I've heard ever. Men don't fucking, look, most men don't give a shit. We just want to, and especially we're going to see a movie, we want to see a good movie. Your movie sucked. You should have read that script when you weren't drunk or high, and then maybe you would have realized this is a piece of fucking garbage. And what's her name's in it? Kristen Stewart? Who, yeah, and now she's like, you know, wearing men's suits and shit. I don't get that. I think that's more offensive to actual lesbians. You know what? These bitches who switch back and forth just because it's chic. You know, like, okay, now I'm with a girl. Now I'm not. Now I'm with a girl. Now I'm going to dress like a real dude. I'm going to be weird. If, listen, people already beat that beat you to that a long time ago. Madonna did it. Boy George did it. Everybody did it back in the 80s. You're not new. You're not impressing anybody. It just, it just, it, it reeks of desperation to me when people do that. Especially Kristen Stewart, who, again, why is she famous? I don't understand. She can't fucking act. Like, seriously, I wouldn't watch her act in anything. You could tell me she was going to give live birth at the Academy Awards, like, on stage, while they're presenting an award. She's going to squeeze a puppy right out of there, and I wouldn't watch it, because I don't want to see her. She annoys the fuck out of me. Dead-eyed bitch. Fucking, <laughs> she looks like a corpse. Like a corpse who came to life for five seconds and forgot it was a corpse. That's her acting range, all right? Get her to do an accent. Get her to do what Meryl Streep does, then maybe the bitch will impress me. I ain't impressed with her ass. I don't like her. So Elizabeth Banks, whoever the hell you are, the, the blonde lady, you know, middle-aged uh, blonde woman. Ooh, was that was that anti-ageist? I'm sorry. Oh, should I not you know, make fun of women now? Because, you know, I make fun of men too. I shouldn't do that because it's mean. How dare you? How fucking dare you say that it's all because men don't want to see women in a power position that your movie sucked fucking ass and nobody wanted to see it? No, it's because it was crap. Maybe it's because you were in it. Maybe it's because Kristen Stewart was in it. Maybe you got people who could really fucking act. People, men would have seen it. I didn't want to see it because it looked like shit. I've seen a lot of trailers for movies with men that is there and go, I'm not going to see this because it looks like crap. That's exactly what happened with this film. It's not about women being in a power position. Yeah, you're fucking mine. You know how many women have carried box up? Wonder Woman, the movie. Didn't it make it like a bajillion dollars or something like that? Your theory holds no water. Prove your point. Prove your point just before you pull random bullshit out like that fucking idiot. Like, prove your point. Show me statistics. Show me movies that have failed because a woman was the lead. Show me. Because I can show you successes where a woman was the lead. 
Maybe you're just a shitty actress. I mean, maybe, maybe you are. I don't know. Get the fuck out of here. We gotta stop blaming everybody and stop making agendas behind movies. Stop making political agendas unless, you know, it's got some deeper meaning for something. I get it. Stop making, you know, I'm gonna do a feminist slant on a movie. Well, guess what? I'm not gonna see it. That'd be like if a guy said, I'm gonna do a male chauvinist slant on this film right now. I'm not gonna see it. I don't wanna know your slant. I don't wanna know your ideology. I don't wanna know your politics unless I'm looking for that kind of movie specifically for that. Then fine. If it's just supposed to be a popcorn eater, I, a special effects bonanza, I don't want your fucking politics in it. I don't want feminism in it. I don't want maleism in it. I don't want homoeroticism in it. You know, or lesbianism in it. I don't want that. You know, okay, there's some isms I would let in it, but come on, stop it already like that. She should be ashamed of herself. Where's the outrage there? Because if a man said something like this, if a man said, well, if this movie doesn't do good, it's because women don't know how to handle strong, real men. These chicks would be out tweeting and Rose McGowan would be out there like, oh my God, this is just, I'm, I'm having a body flashback reading this and I hate that. All these bitches would be out in a fucking pack to get on people's asses because they love to do that shit. Come on, what the fuck? The men need to start getting together too. We have rights too, you know, shit. We're becoming there oppressed. <laughs> the movie sucked. The movie is ass. The trailer was ass. Everything about it was ass. It probably reeked it ass on the set because it was just an ass movie. Get over it. That's why people didn't like it. Oh.